church every time. No, they mean say you be born again, he be so. Brother, you the go church every time. No, they mean say you be born again, he be so.
Thank you very much. Incredible. That was an incredible performance to open the show. You're welcome to the God Urban Gospel Show, and you're watching this live on CJTV. My name is the first chapter of the book of Psalms. My name is Psalm 1, the Christ Junkie. No be so, he be so. No be so, he be so. No be so, no be so, no be so, he be so. You're welcome. Please let your friends know that the God Urban Gospel Show is live, and we are about starting the show proper. As you know, I'm incredible. Just blessed us with the performance. We're going to be talking to him shortly as well. We're going to take a quick commercial break. But before we do, please, like the page on Facebook, The Garner Urban Gospel Show. Share it, tag your friends in there. Let them also join in on the fun. And also go on to our YouTube channel, Someone The Christ Junkies. P-S-A-L-M-1, comma, The Christ Junkie. The Junkie is J-U-N-K-I-E. So Someone The Christ Junkie. Subscribe to our YouTube channel so that each and every time we go live, you get the opportunity to be alerted as well. And don't forget to follow us on Instagram, The Ghana Urban Gospel Show, on Twitter, urban underscore Ghana. We are coming to you live from the Ultra Modern Digital Studios of CJ Multimedia and La Paz. Let's take this quick, quick breather. When we return, I'm going to tell you what we are doing today. <laughs> Sister, you the go church every time. No, they mean say you be born again. It be so. Brother, you the go church every time. No, they mean say you be born again. It be so. At CJ Multimedia, we have a wide range of LED display screens for your church programs, corporate events, musical concerts, and all other events. Our LED display screens are of high quality in terms of displaying live video feed, pictures and motion graphics. Due to our high specs, their brightness allows them to be used anywhere, whether indoor or outdoor, and are very visible from a far distance. We're also able to customize our LED display screens to suit all your set designs and to fit into any shape or form of your choice. Call us now on 0302-220-715 or 054-505-9319 CJ Multimedia We are the Masters Do you need a place to hold an event or a place to lodge? Joe's Place, located on the West Hills near New Botiano, Accra is the place for you You are welcome to Joe's Place We have a state-of-the-art event center fully equipped with lighting LED display screens and sound system. You can hold your live events, live musical concerts, wedding receptions, birthday parties and church services at our event center. Our wedding reception package includes free decoration of the 200 seating capacity hall. We also provide wedding chairs, tables and covers, flower stands, couple chairs, wedding backdrops. Our 18 bedroom guest house has standard rooms which can be used by one or two visitors. We provide restaurant services for our guests. You can locate Joe's place at Red Top, New Botiano, Accra, just some few minutes drive from the West Hills Mall. Please call 0302-961906. CJ TV Studio has a professional ultra modern television studio available for rentals. Our studio is equipped for the most demanding multi-camera productions of broadcasting quality. CJ TV Studio is ready for use and the rental price includes a technical crew, camera equipment, lighting, sound and live video editing. We can also easily make live broadcast on the internet. Rent our TV studio for your news bulletins, interviews, talk shows, fashion shows, webcast, religious broadcast, sports shows and auditions. Contact CJ TV Studio for appointments on the following numbers 0302-220-715 or 0545-059-319. Every time, no they mean say you be born again, it be so. Brother, you the go church every time. No they mean say you be born again, it be so. You welcome back to the Garden Urban Gospel Show. Like I said, we come your way each and every Sunday, 2:30 p.m. live on CJ TV. Thank you for joining in on the fun. My name is the first chapter of the book of Psalms. My name is Psalm 1. You can call me the Christ Junkie. No be so, 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 no be so. Viming, viming. Shout out to all my viming army people for supporting and showing me love. God bless you very much. Shout out to all my production team. Guys, Charlie, without you guys, this will not be possible as well. And if you guys need lighting, LED screens, you need a studio, you need trusses, you need um, beam lights, uh, uh, um, gadgets for 
shooting videos, taking photography and all that, CJ Multimedia is the place for you. We are located at La Paz, La Paz, La Paz, next to Ashanti Home Touch, behind ADB Bank, or you can use Abrantia or Papaya or Las Palmas as your landmark. So come here and your life will never be the same. Don't forget to share the page on Facebook, the Ghana Urban Gospel Show. Tag your friends in, let them join in on the fight. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, Someone the Christ Junkie. When you um, subscribe to our, my YouTube channel, what happens is you get notified each and every time we go live, you're already notified. So you don't even necessarily need to go on YouTube and search for my name again before you can join in on the fun. So please do that for us. Don't forget to follow us on Instagram, The Ghana Urban Gospel Show, on Twitter, urban underscore Ghana. And my name is at P-S-A-L-M, Psalm underscore O-N-E, on Twitter and Instagram as well. Before we always start our show proper, you know we do it with the Word of God. In the beginning was the Word of God, and that is what we have to do or acknowledge today. So our Bible verse for today um, goes by, um, is, is going to be gotten from the book of John chapter 1. I already started um, talking about it a bit. So it goes like, in the beginning was the Word. And the word was with God, and the word was God. The same was in the big beginning with God. All things were made by him, and without him was not anything that was made. So let me bring um, verse 3 once more. It says, all things were made by him, and without him was not anything that was made. In him was life, and the life was the light of men. And the light shineth in the dark, and the darkness comprehended it not. So let's take it once more. John 1 verse 1 to 5. In the beginning was the word and the word was with God and the word was God. That means that if the beginning or in the beginning was the word and the word was with God and the word was God, it means that the word should be a part and parcel of our life. The same was in the beginning with God. All things were made by him and without him was not anything that was made uh, uh, in this universe. So it means that everything that we find in this universe, from plants, from creatures, from our ability to even create things, was made by God, was established by God in the beginning. So your daily walk, um, your daily walk, um, when you wake up in the morning, you get up, you go to work, you go to school, you're going out there to look for money, to look for opportunities to excel in life. You need God to be a part of your life. In the beginning, in the middle, at the end of the day, let God be the center of your life and your life will never be the same because he is the one who made everything. That means he has power over everything and he can give you everything that your soul, your spirit, your body, and your heart desires the most. So let's go back to God. Let's reconcile with the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, the Asian God, the one who created the entire universe and our life will never be the same. Thank you very much for the words so sweet. We're going to take the songs you guys requested this particular week. I have a new single for you guys from a guy. He goes by the name Mr. Carl Clotty. Yes, he has a hit song titled In Boda, Dead Dell, One and Only. And he has a new song out there titled In Kunin Victory. So you guys requested for that song. We're going to play that song for you. We have another song by Kinskate titled Wadom. And then we have another song by the name For My Good by Scott Evans. And then we take All Day by Esaias. Let's enjoy those songs. When we return, we have a special performance from my boy called Game. He's going to give us a spoken word performance. So after those songs play, you'll see Game performing a spoken word poetry, and then I'll talk to him, and the rest of the show continues. Sister, you the go church every time. No, they mean say you be born again, you be so. Brother, you the go church every time. No, they mean say you be born again, you be so. Let me see your victory signs up like this. Come on, hey! Yeah, 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 yeah. Would you be my Listen. Me I walk on no more. Yeah, Jesus I can't know and want a better more. Some for be around to me and say no. Victory is mine. And why is it more? Yeah, I walk on no ever more. Yeah, Jesus, I can't know and want it ever more. Some for be around to me and say no. Victory is mine. And why is it more? Everybody, come on. 
Now Jesus is a kind of
around the world Man, tonight, 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 but this kind never seen before Hold on me to the core, of course, without a clause Cause this ain't out no crap, try some of no we cross I ain't worth it, how do I deserve it? How did I earn it, Papa, you will crave it? You see our breath, what do you pop? You make my heart go, you can do can raise me up high to take hold of the word of life for the word I know is sharper than a two-edged sword and the word is the light that at the beginning enlightened the world I tried to rise up into the light but oh my feet were lame for in my past I was brutal and arrogant misleading the innocent and abusing the vulnerable I was simply the lion that no one could tame but soon I got to the end of the tunnel and I saw that my life was in battle but I knew not that I was losing because fame was the hallmark of my game I looked around me and all I could see was sin and shame sickness and infirmities answered to the call of my name I couldn't see far because darkness and pain had enveloped the light of my day he shall not make it he will fail is all men could say I seem to be lost as I watch myself being driven early to the grave. All my dreams and aspirations in life about to be shattered in a cave. And I wept for behold my life ends as a slave and who will come to my aid? Because I needed to be saved. But wait! The light so bright and light in the grave that the men who watch over me shook with fright. The chains of limitation fell like precipitation. The gates of hell began to tremble and suddenly fell. Then the Son of God, the Lamb that was slain, took his stand in my place. Because of me, he laid down his life and walked through this world like a clown. He traded his glory for my shame. He bore my cares when he hung on the cross. He took my pain, my sorrow, my shame, my transgressions. He was bruised for my iniquities. And by his stripes, I am healed. Because of me. The bright morning star became dark like tar. They put a crown of tongues on his head. He's the king of kings. They served him vinegar to roar. The lion of the tribe of Judah. They spat in his face, the mighty God. They mocked him, the everlasting father. Because of me. He was killed, the word of life. But they arose triumphant from their grave, spirit filled. All of these because of me. But he still says, I love you, son. And he's calling out to me and every one of you. He said, Come to me, all you who are burdened and heavy laden, and I'll give you rest. Your pain, your sorrow, your shame, your tribulation. He took it all when he hung on the cross. And he said, it is finished. Thank you. Sister, 
Brother, you the go church every time. No, they mean say you be born again. He be so. Brother, you the go church every time. No, they mean say you be born again. He be so. You're still watching the Ghana Urban Gospel Show, Charlie. I'm giving you authentic performances. I started the show with Incredible. Uh, we gave us a wonderful performance. And then before you saw me back on air, you saw my boy Game giving us a spoken word poem on the Ghana Urban Gospel Show. Each and every week, we give opportunities to young, talented um, gospel artists, rappers, poets, dancers, those who mime, those who act, whatsoever, singers, Charlie, if you want, or an instrumentalist, if you love to be a part of this show, just register and be a part of our open mic session each and every week. So. I'm talking to the one and only Game. Game, how are you? Fine, thank you, boss. All right, you're welcome to the Ghana Urban sure. Gospel Show. Um, it's yeah. a pleasure. It's, it's a, a pleasure, pleasure to finally to sit down on the seat, eh? With my big boss. Is it with your big boss? Yeah. Almost every time. He's part of our team. Um, he's always behind the, the scenes as well, helping, um, taking pictures, talking to guests, and attending to them. And today, his time has come for him to also shine. And we are shining or shedding the light on his talent. Gabe, once again, welcome. Thank you, boss. All right. Almost every time you are behind the scenes, how does it feel <laughs> sitting on the seat? Okay, so um, before I got here, I was a bit nervous, but I'm cool. Why were you nervous? We've been seeing people coming on the show every time, so why are you nervous? Um, so, this is my first time being interviewed on TV. Oh, this is your first TV yes. interview. Wow. So, yes. the Ghana Urban Gospel Show is giving people the opportunity to be on television for the very first time and whatnot. So, be on behalf of the team and everybody, I want to say thank you for always supporting us and You're being welcome, behind sir. as well and we also don't mind as well pushing what you love and you're passionate about the most so can you tell us about who gamma is your name or um, what school we know you're, you're a student so yeah which school do you attend and when did you start um spoken word poetry okay so um basically my name is um isaac gamma okay. maulam yeah so i'm at legon university okay. of ghana reading a um, Bachelor of Arts in Economics and Geography. Okay. So that's what I do. And then I also do some little part-time teaching, Herbalife stuff. Okay. I also love music. Um, I was, back in SHS, I was music coordinator for Scripture Union. Okay. So I used to do programs and I think that's how I met you. Okay. Yeah, so yeah. we'll go into that later. Yeah. So um, I started Spoken Word in 2018. Three years ago. Three years ago, 2018. Right. Um. I started this way. So a young man walked up to me, his name is Brother David um, Momo, in my church, and he gave me a piece. There was this program they were, they were having, and I say, Xmas Praise. Okay. Um, shout out to the president, Dr. Eugene. Um, I love you so much. Thank you for the opportunities you give to us. So Dr. Eugene is the president of NRCQ. They host Xmas Praise. So that particular year, um, we were doing next mass praise, and I was asked to do a spoken word. Okay. I didn't know how to write then. I love writing, but I didn't know spoken word then. So I read someone's piece on worship. So I did worship. That was the first spoken word I did. And the second one I did was the next year, 2019, at Lighthouse Chapel, um, La Scala. Okay. So that is the one I did right now because of me. Okay. Yes. Yeah, so since then, I've been writing quite a few. I have about five. Next month, God will be doing another one on love. On love. Yes. Okay, so um, you, the journey started in high school. Which school did you attend? St. Thomas Aquinas. Uh, yeah, go school, boss. Nadine. Let them St. Thomas to Aquinas. The God is an author. Exactly. The proper school. Yeah, we'll go school. Pa. Sure, sure, sure. God is an author. 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 Hey, baby, I ain't too thick. Baby, baby. Shout out to all my old Toms out there yeah. and all the... Um, Tom's that Tommy boys that still Charlie going through the school. God bless you guys. All the best in your YC and whatnot, Charlie. So it started in Aquinas. Yes. You are now in the University of Ghana. Lego. What, what, what year are you in? In my second year. And you're reading um, Bachelor of Arts Economics, Economics and, Geography. and Geography. So um, you ha you have the passion to do poetry as well. Yes, and that's, poetry. That's what you're doing. Yes, so now yes. you have like five pieces, and you will have one more um, you want to release as well. Yes. Okay. So. Yes. Um, how's the for so so far? Did, how has the journey been for you? How's it been like? I'm um, so by God's grace, it has been grace. It has been grace because um, the talent is there by it's from God, and then the pl platforms giving us opportunities. So by God's grace, I started quite nervous in the first year, but now I see the confidence is coming. So I've been to quite a number of platforms by God's grace. So it's going well. It's going, it's going well. well. All right. So that is what the Ghana Urban Gospel is all about. 
we shedding light on future prospects, future talents, future stars in the gospel community. One thing that we always fail to understand that we think gospel music or the gospel is only through preaching, evangelism, and whatnot. Nowadays, we're on social media. Nowadays, we're on television. We're on radio. We have um, revivals. We have school outreaches. We have concerts. We have events. All these things are tools in which we preach the message of Christ. So poetry is a tool. Spoken word poetry is a tool. Rapping is a tool. Dance is a tool. Miming is a tool. Um, drama, um, acting, um, and whatnot. They are all tools when it comes to projecting the word of God or projecting the gospel of Jesus Christ, which we've been um, asked and taxed to do in Mark 16, 15, that we should go into the world and preach the good news to the world. The, uh, the world. And so that's what Gamma is doing through his spoken word poetry. And not just that, um, he's part of other people that organize events and whatnot. He's also part of our team here, right, at the Ghana Urban Gospel Show at CJ Multimedia. So uh, before you go, I know um, you've been introduced to the urban gospel community, yes. definitely, um, by working with us and whatnot. What have you seen so far that you would um, talk about or say that, what, what do you think that the artist should do or people or stakeholders in the urban gospel should do to project urban gospel to, to the world? Wow, wow. So before I get there, let me first talk about how I got to know about urban gospel. All right. Um, so the first person I met in urban gospel is someone my big boss. Okay. And that was in 2018, a loud mega praise. Yeah, so wow. before I met you, um, we we're having our annual program, ex um, sorry, Aquinas Praise back Aquinas in praise. SHS. Yeah, yeah. And then I was looking for artists. I went to look for Mr. Joe Metal. Yeah. Unfortunately, he went outside the country, couldn't come. And then, so I met you at Aloud. I was very happy to meet you. And so that's how I got to know about urban gospel. I didn't know what urban gospel was all about. So now, what I loved seeing you was your energy on stage, the way you push the, the music, the things of God, your passion. And I was like, no, I have to, I have to get to know what this young man is doing because um, honestly, honestly, your energy, your passion is, is amazing. Thank you very it's much. Amazing. Thank you very much. I'm really humbled yes. to know. It's, it's all coming back to me. I remember now that it was at Allowed was where you met me first. Yes. And then you later on decided to invite me to Aquinas. Aquinas yeah. And I'd been planning to come to Aquinas for a long time. So when the thing fell through, I was like, yes, this is the right time. So I'm, I'm really glad. And I'm really humbled that um, the fact that you were introduced to Urban Gospel through me is a testament to the fact that anybody can... Um, God can use anybody to introduce people to, sure. to him. And I'm sure it's also helped you um, or it's heightened your love for the things of God. Exactly. Like your desire to, exactly. to work and also do things for God. Because if you're saying that you love my energy and my passion and the dedication I put into the work, it means that one way or the other, it has also, it has also uh, Influenced impacted your life. Would you agree to that? Yes, yeah. a lot, a lot. So since then, I've been following you um, on your social media handles calling you sometimes, following you to programs yeah. and the rest, yes. So I, re I really appreciate that and I want to say a big thank you to you for supporting. It's people like you that keep us also going and without people like you, we will never really grow. So what, what, what's the thing that you would want to suggest to like the urban gospel community or artists that do urban gospel particular? I mean, gospel music, um, traditional gospel is already out there, contemporary already is out there. We're also trying to push the urban gospel um, sub-genre as well. We, pu we push contemporary, we do traditional gospel, but our main focus is urban gospel. So what would you tell urban gospel people, people that do spooky word poetry like you, that rap, that dance, that do their unconventional gospel? What should they do to have the word of God out there so that we can make the necessary impact and be, and find other people, um, that, uh, um, other gamers out there that were inspired by people like someone? Wow, so, um I think basically it all goes down to the Word of God. Okay. You started with um, a scripture on the Word of God. And um, so that is where you find our roots. That is where you find our strength. So let's stick to the Word. Once you get to know the Word, you know, there's something about God that when you humble yourself to Him, He's able to lift you. So it's, it all goes down to let's learn the Word. Let's get the content because that's what is going to influence people. It's not about um, how influential we think we are, how much we can speak or anything. Moses could not speak well. But God used him, it's the word of God that touched people. So let's get to know the word of God. Let's get to know God. Let's get into the secret place. Let's get more of the word of God. And then God will push us out today. 
Let's get the, more of the word of God. Let's get into our secret place, get to know Jesus, and then God will push the message out there. That's what my boy Game says. So Game, kindly give us your social media handles so that we can call it a, a day for you. Wow. So um, I'm on Facebook, Isaac Maulom, Isaac Game Maulom, Instagram, Isaac underscore Game. Game is G-A-M-E, like game, then Maulom. So Isaac yes, on Twitter to Gamme. Isaac Game Maulom. Okay, so please follow him, support his ministry as well, um, and your life will also never be the same. You're still watching the Ghana Urban Gospel Show. We are going to talk to another guest on this show. Don't forget that we started this show with a performance from Incredible. So the next person you'll be seeing is my guy, Incredible. I'll be talking to him shortly. We'll listen to uh, some of his songs and watch some of his videos as well. And then he also tells us more about his journey. You're watching the Ghana Urban Gospel Show. Share the page. Subscribe to the YouTube channel, Someone the Christ Junkie. I'll be right back. Sister, you the go church every time. No, they mean say you be born again, you be so. Brother, you the go church every time. No, they mean say you be born again, you be so. You're welcome back, and you're still watching the Ghana Urban Gospel Show. I told you before um, um, my interview end ended with Game that Incredible is in the house. He opened the show for us with a wonderful performance. The one and only Incredible. What's up? Good man. You're looking good, eh? Thank you. I like the punky joy. <laughs> that goes too. Hey, thank you, thank you, thank you very much. <laughs> uh, we're really happy and glad to finally have you on the show. And I want to say thank you to you for even coming, uh, or accepting our invitation to um, be on this show. God bless you very, very much. So Amen. we want you to give us a, um, an intro. Let us know who Incredible is. The name is Incredible. Are you uh, part of the Incredibles? Um, Jack Jack <laughs> and, um, and those people. Of course. So, not. okay, so can you um, tell us a bit about um, Incredible and how the journey also started for you? All right, thank you so much. And thank you for having me. All right, Incredible is the name, and um, Solomon Aponsa is the actual name. Okay. Yeah, and um, the name Incredible came about when I had to think through what God wanted me to do and um, moving from mainly preaching the gospel, sort of applying the path of a pastor okay. towards um, becoming a music minister. So the, the sudden emphasis that was placed on the music ministry caused me to go through that um, pensive mood, and that's how the name came about. Now, I received this when I was in school, back in the university. University, okay. yeah. which school? Um, University of Legon. Oh, you got on Legon. Okay, yeah. Got on, okay. That was in my first year. But the music itself, I knew how to sing right from GHS into okay. SHS, SHS. But I didn't do it for any real good reasons. I was just doing it to escape groundwork, you know, and, and all that and all that. But I took it seriously in the university when God showed up God and showed said, up take music seriously. Wow. So, um, the so first you were more on, in the line of yeah, I still preach. You still preach, um, but now emphasis is also on the, the music, music because exactly. you are not really using it. So you went to Legon. Yeah. Uh, which high school did you also attend? Presec Legon. Presec Legon. The best school in Ghana. Ah, full <laughs> Shout out to all my baby boys out there, my tom boys. You know the Accra, we and them. Oh, still nah. we still you know, Oh, that day forever. We met you guys <laughs> when, when I was in the basketball team in 2008. Okay. Played for Sprite Ball, met in the final. We lashed you guys. Eh? At that time, you guys okay. had a player called Alimo. I'm sure maybe you've heard. Um, our team, and then we had um, one of the, in fact, the greatest high school player when it comes to basketball, Farat Ali Tamimo. <laughs> we destroyed you guys at home. <laughs> so that, that's one of my favorite things. Presec is one of the schools I really um, have fond memories of. I had the opportunity to perform a couple of times in okay. the school, and the energy is there. It's like every other great um, high school in Ghana. So, yeah. um, Legon, that's when you took it serious. Yeah. All right. So yeah. preaching. And then finally, emphasis yeah, on the music. Exactly. So now you do preaching and yeah, and minister through music. Okay, yeah. so um, what church do you do you attend? Christ and Mazi. Okay, which which one? Um, is um, it the, the main branch at uh, Circle North Industrial Area. Oh, J Shady Square. Yeah. Do you know when you sing? There's something about you that reminds me of J Shady. Oh, really? Yeah. When you go high. Oh, okay. I th you've met him officially? Yes, he is. All right, I think I have to talk to him about it. Because <laughs> when, when you go high and you're singing the high notes and stuff, your antics and even your mannerisms reminds me of Jay Shady. He's the one that I know has that style. Um, the day tricks and that oh, part. You guys okay. have that flair, okay. that kind of flair. And I really like that about you. So, Christ and Bazi, 
not industrial. Yeah. Okay, um, so that's where you started also with the music as well, mm, since you were in Lagos? No, that's not where I started, but okay. that's where it, it was, boomed. It boomed, yeah. Because I know you guys have the opportunity and the platforms exactly. to showcase your, your exactly. talent. So, for example, let me, let me ask you quickly. Do you think it's necessary for artists to always be on the, the necks of the church to support them? Like, you know, support, we always say support, support, but I feel like it's not just support that works, it's being intentional with your support. So do you feel it's necessary for um, churches to support, like intentionally, artists that um, fellowship with them? Hmm. The question has a lot of uh, ambiguity, but yeah. I'll try to answer it. Okay, now I believe that as Christians, we are one body, Yeah. okay? And whatever we do impacts upon the general body. So yes, we have to support each other. We have to push the people that God has given us, the gifts that God has given us, because the gifts that God gives are gifts of men. So definitely we have to push it. But then on the other side, there's the part where um, artists place too much demand on their local churches to push them, which I don't think is scriptural. Okay. D they are not necessarily obliged to push you. They are supposed to be pushing Jesus. Okay. That's the idea. The idea. You get it. So you, you can't place that demand on them. But of course, if they support you, that's good. At the end of the day, Jesus is glorified. So that's what I think about I, it. I like what you just said. You articulated it very well. You said that they cannot push you. The message is, or the purpose for the church is to push Jesus that's Christ. It. So by, by, by that notion, it means that if you have a talent or a gift in the church and you serve in the church and you are in the church, by virtue of the fact that you also follow the teachings of Jesus Christ and you're out there to preach Mark 16, 15, like um, being exemplary of or an epitome of Mark 16, 15, the church will ultimately exactly. also take advantage of it. Exactly. Or, um, align itself with your talent and your giftings yes. and then push yes. what you're doing. I, I like what you just said. So the church, what, um, from what Incredible is saying, the church is not obliged to push you an artist. The church is there for Jesus Christ. Yes. You understand? So at the end of the day, so long as you align yourself to Jesus Christ and that calling, definitely because we are one body yeah. and we are united, the church will also play its part. Exactly. Okay, okay, that's, that's very cool. So you started in Legon. Yeah. You're a member of Christ in Bazi. Yeah. You've been given opportunities to showcase your talent multiple times. Yeah. And we can't even imagine how many times you've been given the opportunity. Now, when did you first release like your first single? And um, how did it even come about? Well, now, for my first single, it came in 2015. Okay, six years and ago. Yeah, that was Creation. That was the title of the song. Okay. Yeah. And for that song, you know, that was the second song I wrote. Okay. I was doing my national, no, my industrial attachment by then okay. in uh, the Eastern region. So one of the days I decided to have um, an evangelism for the people that I was staying in the same vicinity with. Vicinity with. And so I gathered them into one room and after the meeting was powerful, was glorious. So I just went back to my room, took my guitar. I was doing very good on it. I was just trying to praise God and thank Him for how glorious the meeting was. And in doing so, the song just came up, Creation. And that's what I performed before. Yeah, before the show, yeah. yeah exactly. Okay, so, um, so let's say that's around 2015, 2016, yeah, thereabout. Yeah. Okay, so since that time, did you release any other song or have you released any? Definitely. I have about four songs out there. Four songs out yeah. there. I've seen a couple of videos of you on YouTube playing your guitar. Yeah, as well. yeah. Creation, You Are Jesus, He's Coming Soon. Addicted, and um, there's one that I call the Holy Ghost chant. The Holy Ghost chant. And then finally, the one I released yeah. just a few weeks ago. Weeks ago. Okay. We'll, we'll talk about that one exclusively. So, sure. um, creation, and then the second song was You Are Jesus. You Are Jesus, and uh, and then He's coming soon. He's coming soon. And then addicted. And addicted. And so these Holy songs are on um, on all the digital platforms. Yes, you'd them. find them Apple Music, iTunes, um, Urban the Gospel dot com. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. so please, I, I want you guys to go out there as you're watching the show, pick your phones, go on the internet, get to those songs, support yeah. Incredible, and your life will never be the same. One of the things that we fail to um, intentionally advocate is the fact that we need to let people understand that. And it's not just following us on Instagram. While we release a song, you need to be intentional about it. You can even stream the song 100 times yeah. on YouTube. Imagine I have 10 people 
or Incredible releases a song and ten, just 10 people within uh, a week or two stream the song 100 times. 10 people means we're getting thousands. Exactly. That's thousands. So we need to be strategic. We need to be intentional so that the, um, the streaming numbers can go up. When it yeah. goes up, it's encouraging. People automatically um, and organically reach towards the songs. And what it also does for the artists, it helps them raise some funds to support the music because music is not um, cheap, it's expensive. So let's be intentional about our support and support uh, people like Incredible and even myself. So, and not to cut you, yeah. uh, just to add a little bit yeah. to what you're saying. You know, one of the things that many Christians don't do is that they don't know how to promote their own. Exactly. And that's a problem. Usually, sometimes we can be a bit selfish, just thinking about what we will gain out of it. But when you understand that it's an organic body and we are pushing one agenda, which is Jesus Christ, anything Jesus should be pushed exactly. because Jesus is worth the hype. Exactly. So imagine the people of the world, they push foolish things. Everything. They are popping bottles and they are showing it. They are twerking and they are showing it, doing all kinds of things and they are pushing it. And sometimes we even find ourselves sharing it. Exactly. So what do we do about what we have? What do we do about message? So it's important to push it. We need to push the word, um, the word out there. And that's yeah. what Mark 16, 15 basically is. But yeah. sometimes we keep forgetting, but we need to go out there. Television is a tool, radio is a tool, events, yeah. tool, music is a tool, rap, poetry, clothing. You see, he has, this is war on his t-shirt. I also have what? Tell them about oh, Jesus. Jesus. At the end of the day, I'm using this as a tool to communicate to somebody. Somebody will see this and, be, and find it very creative and feel, feel like, wow, let me look at it very well. And this inscription will just preach to that person. And this shout outs to Action Chapel, Rehoboth. Um, temple at Pukwasi. They blessed me with this t-shirt um, last December. God bless you guys very much. So, you released these four songs and I've asked the people to stream the song. I've noticed something about the theme that you like to talk about. You said creation. You said you, you had Your a song. Jesus, Jesus is coming soon. He's coming soon. Why do you focus on stuff like this? I mean, everybody has a calling and yeah. we all have a place in the kingdom. But there's definitely a personal reason or maybe a revelation or a word that God has given you. Why do you choose these type of um, themes and okay. then we talk about the new song. All right. So my main theme is basically founded on the message of my man of God, Pastor Chris. Okay. And his message is more on Jesus and the kingdom. The kingdom. And that is where most of my songs stem from. So if you listen to creation like this, is talking about the greatness of God. And you listen to you are Jesus, obviously, talking yeah. about Jesus Christ. If you listen to his coming soon, he's talking about the second coming of Christ, the rapture, where we'll be one day when we stand before the judgment seat of Christ. And listen to Addicted as well. It talks about how addicted I am to Jesus Christ. So basically coming back to Jesus Christ. So that's... So everything points towards, towards Jesus, Jesus and the Christ. Kingdom. And that's what Incredible is about. And incredible music, I guess, yeah. is all about. So let's go straight to Man of war that's the new single out right. there um an amazing song you featured chisomatic yeah it's chisom with matic yeah. on it so um why why the theme man of war and how did the song come about and then we go and watch the video and come back sure now man of war <laughs> came out of uh, the secret place when i was fellowshipping with god for some time i was looking for something and god gave me that song i had it and that's how I just sat behind the keyboard and I started playing it. So later on, I went to the scriptures and I found places where um, the phrase man of war was. So I focused there to understand the idea of the song. And I understood that indeed, the man of war we are talking about here is the Holy Ghost. And you know, in this end time, for God to do what he really wants to do, we cannot do it as CCs. We have to manifest as the soldiers of Christ that we are. But in doing so, we have a captain who is the Holy Ghost. You remember in the scriptures, the Bible says that um, Joshua, one time when he was preparing to take over Jericho, the Bible says that a man came yeah. and he thought it was an angel. So yeah. he took a sword, was ready to strike. He said, who are you? Are you for us or against us? He said, no, I'm not for you. Neither am I against you. He said, I am the captain of the Lord's host. Yes. And so that is the idea of man of war, to put on some military might on display, giving the idea that 
every soldier of Christ, it's time to rise to your calling. We cannot take this world by acting cool and calm. We have to be radical like soldiers of Christ with the military mindset to colonize this world for Jesus Christ. And we are doing so with the man of war who is the Holy Ghost himself leading us. And that's the idea of the whole The song. kingdom of God suffered violence and violence takes it by force. Let's enjoy Man of War by Incredible featuring Chizomatic. Sister, you the go church every time. No, they mean say you be born again, you be so. Brother, you the go church every time. No, they mean say you be born again, you be so. Yeah, this is war. We come in the name of Jesus. Let's go! Hey. Yeah. yeah! Yeah, this is war. And there is no neutral ground. Are you on the Lord's side? Stand up and fight. Now it is time to lift the flag of Jesus Christ high. With the sword of the spirit, stand up and fight. We fight from heaven, the stars and the forces fight. The weapons of our own, yeah. On our God, we fight from heaven. The stars and the forces fight. The weapons of our own, yeah. On our God, but mighty, mighty, yeah. The stars and the forces fly 
Sister, you the go church every time. No, they mean say you be born again, you be so. Brother, you the go church every time. No, they mean say you be born again, you be so. Man of War by Incredible featuring Chizomatic. You still watching the Ghana Urban Gospel? So please, please, just give me a cappella. Let us know that you were the one who actually went <laughs> and you are the one we saw. Maybe you are a clone that you are sitting here. So let us know that issue. All right, very simple. Jehovah Saviour, Lord of hosts, your mighty, my defender, I'll keep for men of war. Jehovah Saviour, Lord of hosts, your mighty, my defender, I'll give or men of war. Indeed, man of war, and this is war. So how did the video come about, and who directed it, and where, where did you shoot it? It looks crisp, it looks like you shot it in a studio yeah. with new urban um, palettes and all that. Yeah. So, so how did it come about, who shot it, and where, where, where was the shot? All right, so Quincy Dixon is okay. the videographer for the song, okay. and then we shot it at Black House Studios, Tantra. Tantra. Yeah, okay. that's where we shot it. And he himself directed the the whole shoot. Okay. So he came up with the idea to, you know, putting different people there, you know, just to create that it, yeah, create that, you know, so um army, military. anthem, military feel. So all the colours that came about you realize that all military colours that we wore. Yeah. Wow. So um did you did you record was it a live recording as well? Yeah, it was a live so recording. So everything was done live. Wow. So how long did it, that take to, to, to record? Oh, mm, it took about, let's say, two and a half hours. Two, hours, two and a half hours. So yeah. you, you, okay, so everything was shot, shot one time. One wow. time. One That's time. awesome. That's incredible. I yeah. guess I'm playing with words. <laughs> okay. So um, did you write the song just yourself or other people co-wrote it as well? I wrote the song myself. Wow. So you, you're a songwriter as well, you're yeah. a singer. And then you're an artist as yeah. well, and then the man of God, a pastor yes, as well. Yes. So, um, are you under a church aside the the main Christ and Bazi branch? Are you under maybe a local church? No, that's like, why. That's I where you. That's where you are. Okay, that's that's great. So, Incredible has given us a list of all his songs. I will need you guys to go on all digital platforms yeah. to stream the song. Like, it is very, very important to, to me. We support people and support um, artists. And one thing I'm also going to do on my part is make sure that this song is rotated literally every day on CJ TV, CJ Multimedia. This is, this is the home for us, um, the new generation, the yeah. next generation of gospel yeah. um, artists. We give platforms to the old, the young, legends, pioneers, what, whatever genre of music you do, the Ghana Urban Gospel Show will help you. The only emphasis we, or the, or the, the only genre like we really emphasize on is urban gospel. The reason is light hasn't been shared too much on it. And we live in an urban society exactly. right now. Look at the way you dress. If, if you, 15 years ago, you probably wouldn't be dressed wearing know, right? Timberland boots. It's telling me, it's telling me that, um, you actually meant the man of war thing. I can see yeah. the military in the yeah. boots. You're looking good. Everything, and this is how we are as young people. Yeah. I, you cannot expect us to be wearing suit and ties in our music videos because we don't wear suit and ties yeah. every day. So it is very important that like we showcase that um, culture and in our music and everything we do because that's what we go through every day in our lives. Don't you agree? It's, I agree. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So. Um, I know and understand that Incredible is doing incredible things by the grace of God. Man of war. Man of war. Yeah. We're going to promote it. Charlie, I know you want to talk a lot, but you'll be seeing it a lot on all other platforms that yeah. we are on. So we want to say a big thank you for joining us today. We God bless you very much. Thank you for having um, We've learned a lot from you. Subsequently, we have to bring you back again. You don't need to necessarily wait till you're releasing a song to, to come to us. We are family. At any point in time, we can call you to pass through and then be a blessing to people. Sure. So you are welcome here anytime, any day. But before you go, you have to perform for me again. <laughs> Bless us through a performance. No and then I'll need you to give, look into your camera and sure. then give us your social media handle so that we can also come back, follow you, and follow you on Instagram and rally behind you as well. Sure. So you can follow me at Incredible Music, N-K-R-E-D-I-B-L-E, -E, the music on Facebook, on IG, and on YouTube. And you can follow me at incredible underscore music on Twitter. 
you can get all my songs, you can get all my works over there. So incredible music across social media platform, but on Twitter it's incredible underscore, underscore music. music. And it, um, it's not a C, it's NK. NKR. NKR. So God bless you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to enjoy a wonderful performance from my boy Incredible. And I'll sign out after that. And I'll see you same time next Sunday. Don't forget to share the page. Let your friends enjoy the performance from Incredible. Hey. Hey. Sister, you the go church every time. No, they mean say you be born again. You be so. Brother, you the go church every time. No, they mean say you be born again. You be so. Yeah. This is war. We come in the name of Jesus. Let's go! This is what, and there is no new to roll ground. Are you on the Lord's side? Stand up and fight. Now it is time to lift the flag of Jesus Christ high. With the sword of the spirit, stand up and fight.
Thank you very much, incredible. We had fun on this show together. I want to say a big thank you to Garmin for also passing through the show. Ladies and gentlemen, go out there, support young talents. Go out there, support the gospel industry. Go out there, support all the gospel genres as well in the country. We are all pushing the message of Jesus Christ. We need to infiltrate all the four corners of the world and the universe for the king to return to us. So thank you very much once again, incredible. I'll see you sometime in the future we're going to be playing man of war we're going to remind everybody about it ladies and gentlemen the god urban gospel show every sunday 2 30 p.m live on cjtv don't forget to like the page the god urban gospel show follow us on twitter urban Go urban under underscore ghana urban underscore ghana on instagram the ghana urban gospel show you can follow me on twitter and instagram at p s a l m underscore -E, some underscore -E, and subscribe to the youtube channel someone the christ junkie i'll see you same time next sunday and repeat, it's on Tuesdays, 7 p.m. live on CJTV. Vimming! Sister, you the go church every time. No, they mean say you be born again, you be so. Brother, you the go church every time. No, they mean say you be born again, you be so.